Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given exponential equation. So the very first thing we can see is we got a fraction. We must get rid of that one. So you can see 2 is dividing this part. So in order to undo this division we're going to multiply both sides by 2. So this 2 and 2 this is gone. We simply ended up with 7 power x plus 7 power negative x equal to 1 times 2 becomes 2. So far so good. Now you can see that one over here. In this part this has a negative exponent. If we bring it down it will it's going to become a positive exponent. So this is what I'm going to write down. 7 power x is already there. If I move it to the bottom like I write it 7 power x the exponent become positive equals to 2. Now we're going to go ahead and simplify furthermore. I can let u equal to 7 power x to make it more simple. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say I'm going to use a substitution method that say let uh, u equal to 7 power x. So that means this becomes simply u plus 1 over u equals to 2. So far so good. Now we can see that we got one fraction. u is at the denominator. How we can get rid of that u? How we can remove that fraction? So I'm going to multiply across the board each and every term by u. So this u times u become u square and this u and u cancel out. We got just simply got 1 equal to 2 times u. We got it. So far so good. I want you to move this 2u on the left hand side. So this everything is going to become u square minus 2u plus 1 equal to 0. When you move this 2u on the left hand side this become negative 2u. Now you can see we got a quadratic equation with a u variable. So we can easily we can factor it out. The possible factors are u minus 1 and u minus 1. So that means u minus 1 equal to 0 if you split them up equal to 0. In either case we got u equals to 1. So that really means is that our solution is u equals to 1 with a multiplicity 2. That means this is showing up twice that this multiplicity means. Now we're going to go ahead and revert it back u to our original x variable. How much was that one? u was equal to 7 power x. So this thing becomes simply 7 power x equals to 1. Now we want to tweak over here. We're going to manipulate this part 1. Isn't it 1 could be written as 7 power 0. The reason we did it because we want to have a same base. So this 7x 7, 7 power x could be written as 7 power 0. Anything power 0 is is 1 okay except 0. So now as you can see our bases are same isn't it? That means this x is going to be 0. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to our solution. That is our answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.